Top of the morning to you, laddies. My name is... Um, that's not my show. Hello, all the beautiful people of the world. It is the Creative Rush here. And today is the amazingly amazing day that we like to call Friday. And in honor of this most amazing of days that we call Friday, we will be doing part two on how to make super realistic environments, or maybe not super realistic, somewhat realistic environments in your own game. Back in our part one, as we usually do for our part twos, we will we covered an example of what our realistic environment would sort of look like. So to do that, we played Flower, which I have to say is an amazing game. If you own a PlayStation, I'm not sure if it's on PC or Xbox, I think it's just on PlayStation, then go get it. Because, yeah. Let's jump into Unity! So if you follow the tutorial correctly, you should end up with something little like this. You have a, a scene We'll have swaying grass, which I think looks somewhat realistic. And when you look at the sun, a lens flare will appear. So you can see that. So as usual, you're going to want to start with a blank scene. And this blank scene is going to be used to add all of the crap, which we're going to need added because, you know, game development. So to start off, you're going to want to create a terrain, which is where we're going to be adding all of our grass, obviously. And such as that. Man, I'm good at this. And then next you're going to want to go and create a skybox. So to do that, you're going to want to go to edit, render settings, and then where it says skybox material, click on that. Pretty much just click on any of these materials that says skybox because you want a sun added. You want to use a sun in this. I'm going to go with skybox, sunny sky three, sunny three skybox. Now see, I got a little sunny sky. It's all pretty stuff. We're going to go to create, light, and directional light. Now we have our scene all lit up. So here's our scene, but we don't want our ground to be white. We want it to be green and covered in grass. So we're going to go to our terrain, click on this paintbrush, edit textures, add texture, select. Now if you want to do the grass that I'm making, you're going to want to select grass hill if I can find it. Second. Yeah, here, right here, Grass Hill. Click on that. We're going to set X to 1 and Y to 1. This will make the picture come out a lot smaller on the terrain and a lot more detailed. Hold on. Right here. This doesn't look very realistic, though, so we want to add some grass. So to do that, you're going to go over to where the flower is right here. Click Edit Detail. Add Grass Texture. Up where it says Detail Texture, None 2D, None Texture 2D. Click on that, and you're going to want to find grass. You could use grass too, but I think grass looks better. Click on that. I kind of want to turn the brightness down. So what these two colors are, if it doesn't stay enough, if the grass is healthy, it'll be this color, and it's dry, it'll be this color. So you can make it like it was in flower, make it like purple and make it that color, whatever you want. But for our tutorial, and for the sakes of just making it realistic, we're going to make it green. About there. That's a little brighter than normal, but hey, it's a game. Noise spread. This shows how far apart the dead and the dry grass is, how spread out it is. I don't want there to be any dead grass, so I'm going to put zero. The higher the number, the more spots of dead grass. Max height, I went to two, and then the minimum height of the grass, I want to be 1.5. I just like it like that. We're going to hit add, and you'll see it shows up on here. Sadly, we can't mass produce this, so you're going to want to increase your brush size all the way up. That is if you want to texture the whole terrain. Oop, just got a text. I'll read that later. Click on this circle right here because it doesn't have any fade in it. Or you could, you, know, you could use any brush if you want. Pretty much just like these four. I'm going to go to this one because it's a little bit bigger on the appearance as that is. And you're pretty much just going to want to trace over everywhere. I will edit this part out, and I will be back to you guys in a second. Also, I forgot to mention how to trace over it, and it's pretty simple. Just hover over it, hold left click, and then just slowly go over. You don't want to go too fast, because if you go too fast, then it won't add very much. If you go slower, it adds it better and doesn't spread it out too much. All right, well, now I finish that, I'm going to go on down, and we'll see how it looks. Alright, so I hope it didn't show up anywhere, but Unity sort of stopped working on me. It was it was working fine, 
But then I was moving in to look at the grass a little closer, and my uh, my scene camera just froze up. Everything in else in Unity worked, but my scene camera would not work. I had to restart. But now that we're back, you can see that our scene is covered in beautifully green grass. Exactly what we wanted. There's a problem. You can see just the plain terrain because the grass loads up so it can save on all the uh, all the memory and information and stuff. So you have a lot of grass, but it doesn't show up until we get close enough. Which will look really bad in our game, but we'll figure out how to fix that in a second. So you're going to want to create a first person controller. If you remember how to do that from my other video, on my pretty much all of my videos, you're going to go to Standard Assets. character controller and then first person controller he's always gonna be in the ground so we're gonna lift him up a little bit then we're gonna hit play now if I'm correct it, the game should run a little bit slowly let's let's see if that still stands no all right my game is also set 69 I want to be a free aspect right now well it's not running slowly which is odd it usually does when we add so much grass to our scene but you'll see that we have beautiful grass Maybe a little tall for a uh, for, uh, flower, but it'll work for now. You can adjust the height settings in the, uh, in the grass texture editor like we were at before. But for now, we're just going to keep it like this. So in our game, we still see this area, which we don't want. So we're going to go into our first-person controller and open up our main camera. Right here where you say far, we're actually going to change near to... 0 0.01 this is how close you need to be to an object before you start like seeing through it 0 1 is the lowest you can go and it'll make sure that if an object has a collider on it you will not see through it if you get too close for far it's at really high far is the higher the number is the farther you can see we want it to be about 50 because if you look at our camera preview all that area sort of just disappears so now if we go into play mode which will take a second, you will see that we cannot see that yucky brown area that we don't want to see anymore. It's all grass because we can't see past that point anymore. Even if we jump up, still can't see it. Now it's the lens flares. If you look at the sun, you'll see that we don't have any lens flares attached to it. We're going to change that. Whoops. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our directional light. And it's not showing up right here. Wait. There we go. And we're going to see flare. First, we're going to want to add... Well, wait a second. We're going to go to window, asset store. Okay, so when you get this pair... So when you get to this page, you're going to want to go to the search bar, and you're going to type in lens flares. Hit enter. And you're going to want to click on this one. It just says lens flares. Go into there. Im hit import, or you'll, you'll hit download if you haven't downloaded it yet. Download, and then import. I've already done that, so I don't need to worry. So you'll get all of these maybe not all of them I have some others but we're gonna pick a lens flare right now just like the uh, the circles that appear on the screen so to do that we're gonna go with a, a 85 millimeter lens let's see where our directional light is rotated this will depend on where the lens flare is shown from and this is really all a matter of where your Sun is the lens flare doesn't shine on the sun unless you tell it to. So we want to rotate it towards the sun. Doesn't matter where the lens flare, not the lens flare, it doesn't matter where the light is, but as long as it's rotated towards the sun, it'll work. So we can see that if we look at where it's rotated towards, that we see the lens flare appear. We want to rotate this towards the sun. Now the sun is right there. Going to take this and rotate it over here. Just pretty much fiddle around with it until you get it where you want it. 
rotation right here. Click on it. Go. Okay, there we go. Table this side, up a little bit, side a little bit, and there we go. Now our lens flare is on the sun, for the most part at least. Now we're going to add a second lens flare, so we're going to take this directional light and duplicate it. And then change the intensity to zero, because that will add another 0.5 to our scene and make it super bright, and we don't want that. We're going to take this, and instead of 85 millimeter lens, we're going to put sun. And this just makes it so the sun sort of shines when we look. You can see that there's a little bit of a line streaking through the sun. So we go to play mode. We will see that we have our scene with our beautifully green grass. If it will load, come on. Yeah, we have our scene with our nice grass, and when you look up at the sun, the flare shines down on it, and we have the sun glowing. And that, my friends, is how we make lens flares and grass and stuff like that in Unity 3D. And since there's nothing else to say, I'll see all you guys in the next video. See you later. Hey everybody, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and if you want to keep up to date on my latest content, hit the subscribe button right here. If there are any fun games you'd like me to play, or if you want to learn anything about making your own games, leave it in the comments way down below, and there will be links in the description for all the assets I use today, and as usual, there will be a link to Unity 3D. Thank you all for watching.